Hey guys, this is Lego City Fireplane, set number 4209, and this is 522 pieces. And I just got this the other night at Toys R Us, so here it is. It's the front of the box, let's get the boring stuff out of the way, show you the box and the manual. It's not really boring, but here it is. Jeep. Showing the suction device, uh, sucking out water. Showing you to put the water in the plane. And the two female and female sit there. And inside the very nice cockpit. And the plane coming in, letting the water loose on the burning tree. And the plane can also uh, scoop up water. And here's the flap to put in the water which is represented by 30 uh, tubes that are in aqua trans blue and there's the door that releases it and down here you see the 4x4 fire truck and the fire ATV which um, tonight I'm be making a video for the fire ATV and I already have a video up on my channel for the fire truck 4x4 four, four four fire truck so please check my channel if you're interested in seeing that it's a very nice fire truck. Okay, so that's the box. And this is two manuals. A small one, which is the, you go through the Jeep and the trailer and the two trees. And this minifigure. And on this, you, in this one you do the massive plane and the two, the male and the female, uh, fire, air, uh, fire excuse me, firefighters. So, okay, cool. So now let's get into the minifigures. Here we have the female. She is an air firefighter. She works in the plane. She does the dials and everything. And you can have her fly it if you want, but she's shown working the dials in the second chair, not in the pilot in the pilot seat. So there's a front printing and the male and female do have exact same printing front and back. Their helmets are white with a smoky visor. So that's her. Here is the guy. There's his face with the orange sunglasses and there's front printing same as hers and back printing. So very nice uh plain firefighters. So gotta say they're my first uh, ones I have. And on the uh, new style fireman, he's got a maroon. Well, I don't know if he's so new style or if he's just the ones that you, the type that fights the forest fires. So here's his uh, maroon colored helmet and a dark yellow colored fire suit, which is very nice. And it has the fire symbol right there in the middle. And there he is. He's got sweat on his brow. That's a fireman. So that covers the three minifigures you get. And you do get two burning trees and which you can see their height relation to just about everything here. Minifigures, the Jeep and trailer, and the height of the plane. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're covered in flames, and they have support rods through these ones, so they're very sturdy. And you can switch uh, the you can twist the branches, you know, as much uh, to make them look different if you want, more different, and change them up, and change up the flames if you want. They're built exactly the same. The trees they have the same amount of branches, and they're made up of dark and light green colored branches. So here's the awesome fire jeep. Uh, the front detail is very cool. It has a very nicely designed jeep looking front. It features two smooth of the new yellow uh, studs. And here you see the plate DL4209. That is a sticker. has the nice tall uh, blue windshield. They have two doors that do open and close on the left and right side. Uh, it fits one minifigure to drive it, and there's the wheel in there, and it has a yellow seat. 
there is a tall antenna here and an axe which is clipped on the opposite side there. Uh, going across the set, uh, in the center here you have the, uh, probably a loudspeaker for the siren and here's uh, blue flashing lights and it's really cool back here you have a little cart uh, container which slides back in here between these right in there it doesn't clip on but it's a gray box and I have the radio in here also but what it does is you hold the flashlight and any one of these minifigures can use the flashlight in their hand and it has a new smooth yellow stud it's very cool so it holds in there and you can also take this container down and place it along with you um, down put the axe in there and other things that the firemen need and you just it goes right back here there. and onto the trailer you got a, a uh, oh and also it has four the jeep has four white rooms and the trailer has two white rooms so it's total six snaps apart and it's just the ball hitch and it's this is a really cool suction device where you go to the natural body of water and you suck water from it to fill in the plane so here's the back you have two uh, regular stud red tail lights and also the tail plate DL4209 and it's a really cool design you have the hoses which you sl unslide from to go over this I'm going to clip it back so it doesn't roll around as much okay you slide this free from this area and you take this off connect it to here and you go to the natural body of water and you put it in here and you suck water up when you're supposed to and you suck water up it, here's the gauges back here which is really cool that is a printed piece and <clears throat> excuse me when you're done with the water uh, sucking it up you you uh, disconnect from here and this door is like this of course and you go to the plane so on the plane right here next to this 4209 sticker is a gauge and a hookup and there's also uh, the same thing on the opposite side but we'll show you on this side and here's the hose you then clip it to here and you're now transferring the water from here into your plane so very very cool it's a very cool set you'll really enjoy it so that showing that feature and on also on here is a really cool chainsaw I'll show you how it goes into the fireman's hand you stick this part which is a handle which is a gun and you stick it here can be used as a gun excuse me and get the handle around Oops. <laughs> got it in his hand smoother than this before Okay, there it is in his hand pretty well, and you can see it looks it looks it's really well designed with simple uh, pieces. Looks good, and it is a tool firemen use.
commonly chainsaw. So yeah, that stores nicely back on here Oops. onto the trailer. There you go. And that is the trailer. Here is a uh, you know the other side with the axe I told you about. And that completes the Jeep and the trailer with the suction device on there. Slide these all out of the way and get to the amazing fire plane. This thing's got just fantastic detail and it is huge. Uh, I'll pull the Jeep and the trailer across the CC that even so it is still a whole other length of this long which is great the wingspan is massive Put this. show you on there so <clears throat> onto the plane. There is some sticker detail, but not much. You have a fireman symbol here, and also back here on each side of the tail, 4209 on either side also. It is a striking red and white with yellow accents color scheme. You know, fire, you know, it's fire related, and <clears throat> On each wing is support stand here and here, and you can see that's how I look from the side. So it's a very nicely designed plane, and it's got massive wingspan, which is a plus. And the nose is very nice. That snaps off, and it reveals the extremely nice cockpit. <clears throat> Let's get it in focus. All right there, and you have a bunch of dials here. These are printed in here, and you have two levers with the controls are. So you, I'll put the pilot in. To show you how he fits, and you can fit these in his hand, and he's controlling the plane. You lift off this other part here. And this is where the girl sits. And you see she monitors the water probably gauges and stuff. So I'll set her in there. And they sit opposite of facing each other. They're back to back, I mean. See there? They're look very nice. Snap this back on, and they are ready for a mission. So, <clears throat> excuse me, right here is a flap, which in there is where it holds the water. And oh, I forgot to mention there is light detail going across here. This wing has a red light, this wing is green light, and they both have clear lights on each side. <clears throat> and working propellers so yeah that's the wings and underneath is nice gray like floater looking things and across the bottom of the whole plane is a yellow stripe and the gauges for the water level are printed little one by one tiles so that is also cool on to the feature. Right here on the side of the plane is a little lever and when you lower it, it releases the water of the plane. So, range of trees and I'll show you what it does. Okay. You press it down and you drop water on the fire. So, 30 little uh, tubes. Okay, so I've dropped 30 uh, Aqua Trans Blue tubes on the fire. And when you're done with that, you just gather them all up. And you lift this flap here and reload it. 
So this has been Lego City Fireplane. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.